Hi Taurus, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for, for Taurus Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, but this is six months from now, we're, so we're just going to be like, where, where are you going to be in six months? So six months from now, a reading for six months from now. What do we got for Taurus? Where are we going to be six months from now? Six months from now. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay, I'll we'll take those. Sun, happiness and well-being. So yeah, this is in good health, being happy. Stork, news of a birth or a new business opportunity. This is news of a birth as well. Now this could be a birth of your set, of heart. Okay, the sun is represents your heart and soul. This is happiness. This could be a rebirth of you. Fire. Strong emotion. Passion, love, or hate. So, woo! Wow! Ooh, you're probably going to be on fire in six months from now. Okay? It's happy. It's a really happy time. You're going to be vibrating at a at a high level. You're going to be high vibration. You're going to be looking good. There's going to be strong emotion. In six months from now, it looks really, really, really good for you. Wow. Wow. Hot. Hot, hot, hot. Whew. Better watch out. Somebody could get pregnant. If you're not, I mean, if you're of that age or whatever, think like, Lord, that, that ain't going to happen for me. But for some of you, if you're looking for that, then, well, definitely a good time for it. Anyhow, um, news of a birth, new life, new beginning. That's what we have here. We have a new beginning that is going to, in six months from now, it looks really good. I think we should stop right there. <laughs> we don't want to mess it up, do we? I don't want to. But we're just going to, it looks good. It looks really good. Strong emotion, passionate love or hate. Could be very passionate love by looks of things, I hope. Eight of wands reversed. Tug of war, reflection, worry, worried. We're gonna go the the old route here since I have a a way. Ooh, yikes! What do we got here? Yikes! 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 Six months from now. Six months from now. Somebody from the past. We got somebody from the past here coming back. Okay, Re repeating. Wanting to not, it's not over. Unfinished business. Seriously. There's some sort of unfinished business here with somebody from the past. Somebody that you have dealt with before. Now, uh, it could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, somebody has blocked communication. There's blocked communication here. There's been no communication. We have somebody here, which is probably you. I'm not sure which one it is, since we have the king and the queen of pentacles in reverse. We have, I think, the feminine is doing quite well. Okay, the feminine is self-sufficient, stable, solid, secure. You know, has is successful, has, is just enjoying life, enjoying singlehood. Enjoying her independence. If you're in a coupled relationship, somebody could be becoming independent. Okay? This is definitely an independent woman who doesn't need anybody. Okay? This person is very self-sufficient, valuable, hard worker. Really hard worker. Has a lot to offer. And knows it. Okay? Very comfortable individual here. So, in six months from now, we also have a man or a masculine that is not stable. He is, he may present himself to be stable. He may present himself to be secure, but he's, he does things illegally. He may sell drugs or does the money laundering or gambles or does something he shouldn't do to get money. So we do have a masculine here that is, you know, breaks the law to do, you know, doesn't really care about the laws, whatever. So this is a masculine that is a lawbreaker. This is a lawbreaker. Um... Now this 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 wheel of fortune reversed is is repeating repeating this is the past coming back to haunt you. So the past coming back to haunt you. And this is this is a lack of hope, a lack of faith. Um 
depression. Uh, why, 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 why are you coming back around now? So you may be asking somebody why they are, why they're coming, why are they calling you? Why are they asking you for help or something like that? It's like you haven't heard from this person. You're doing fantastic. There's been no communication. You're stable. You're solid, secure. Perhaps this person has gotten themselves into some trouble. You know, maybe they've gotten themselves into tr some trouble and they need your help, you know. So just keep that in mind. I feel as though this person hasn't changed. In six months from now, there is somebody that is probably going to come back around with the Wheel of Fortune reversed. They are feeling hopeless and they need your help. They need your help and you're pro they've done something against the law and they probably get caught. And maybe they're in rehab or they're in jail or something like that. And they need your help. And you're probably like, uh. Anyhow, um, that's what I got to say. So, um, yeah, around the corner, I think you may be a little stressed out. In six months, I think you, you or somebody is going to be stressing you out. Okay, there's some sort of extremes here. Now, this is the the temperance reverse is is not healthy. That is repeating negative patterns. Okay, this is a need to re-examine um, improper behavior. This is addictions. It's unhealthy. It is engaging in negative patterns. Like I said, it's it's like. You know somebody hasn't changed, but I think we have somebody that is coming back around that is going to tell you they have changed. This person likes, is, is an emotional roller coaster, okay? And you've probably heard that before. This person is a roller coaster ride, and, and you don't want to get on that roller coaster. I suggest you just hit, the, hit let it keep going round and 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 round until this person can't take it anymore, and then you just... You know, turn your back and keep walking and don't ever look back. So anyway, let this person stay on their roller coaster ride because that's they're never going to change. Okay, they're never going to change. So anyway, I think in six months from now, you are going to be dealing with a struggle because we have this power struggle here. I think you're doing quite well. You're stable. You're solid. You're secure. You're, 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 you're looking good. You're, you're, you're very good. You're very good, especially if you're, you're the feminine here. You know, but but you got somebody here that probably is going to cause you some sort of conflict. It's like, you know, you probably want, there's something about them that makes you want to hold on to them. But they make you bleed and they hurt you. You know, they hurt you. And, you know, you know that it's not meant to be. You know it. You know it. But there's something that makes you like to play with them. It's like maybe it's the thrill of competition. I don't freaking know. But there's something, you know, that you know it's a dead end. So I suggest you, you don't get yourself hurt over this situation. And you keep doing what you are doing. So, just saying. Um, Taurus, six months from now, I see somebody, you know, going their own way. Because this is very independent. Whether it's you or the person that you're dealing with. No more communication. Stopping communication. Blocking. Blocking communication. Um, from somebody that just isn't real. They're not real. They're not practical. They're not stable. They're not, you know, they present themselves that to be somebody that they're not. Okay? And it's like, you just like, no. Why, 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 why? Uh, you don't trust. You don't have faith in this person. So I do believe that um, you don't see any success. I think that, um, and this could be, and you see this is this passionate love or hate. It could be passionate hate. You know, it could be. It's like, you know, sorry, but uh, I'm happy. Happiness and well-being. You're stable. You're solid. You've worked your way up. There's no stress, right? There's no stress. But then right around the corner, there's stress. So here there's no stress and here there's stress. And so stress comes when whoever this person is uh, gets off their roller coaster and heads in your direction and wants you to give them another chance. Okay? So that's when the stress comes it's like oh my god oh my god now what i mean because obviously you've played with this person before you know and they're probably gonna say they need you you know i need you they may need your money they may need you to take care of them in some way but i don't see any love 
here in these cards okay i don't see any love here in these cards so in six months i think that you will be comfortably independent i think that you will be uh stable uh, you may see an increase in your money you're holding on to your value you're holding on to your stability there is going to be some sort of individual that enters the scenario that wants to play some games with you you know they want to uh they want to play they definitely want to play okay they do want to play and they want to they want to see you know how strong you are they want to see if you know you want to go for the roller coaster ride with them i don't like roller coaster rides not even for one second no you ain't getting me on no fucking roller coaster ride you go on them by your goddamn self <laughs> anyway no no roller coaster rides for me but that's just me so anyway um this is like this is the roller coaster it's like we have somebody here that is extremely unbalanced they're very temperamental they uh, are exhausted they need your help they need your help and they may be looking for you to help them heal they may have gotten themselves into some some sort of karmic situation which has brought them backwards this is bad luck they may have hit a run of bad luck of themselves. You know, they've gotten themselves into trouble. Somebody has gotten themselves into trouble, and they're coming to you looking for help. And I think that in six months from now, you may be like, uh, you burned that bridge. That bridge was burned already. You burned it. You burned it. It's... Sorry. So, yeah. Um, I think that you're happy. You're happy. You're doing good. You don't need anybody. So I do not see you, uh, let me get one more card. I don't see you, uh, moving forward. Yeah, no, it's rejection. Yeah, unrequited love. I just don't, I'm not, sorry, no more feelings left. Uh, involved another woman, somebody involved another woman, and, you know, there's consequences for that. So, yeah, there's consequences for that. So, anyway, I think that we have somebody here that has found their confidence and their willpower and their self-esteem and their self-worth. And they're turning their back on an unrequited love situation that, you know, I just, I know my, I know my value. I know my worth. I, I know I'm beautiful. I'm a force to be reckoned with. And I don't love you anymore. So I think in six months, this is a rejection. It's unrequited love. We have somebody that decides to go their own way. They are they are comfortably independent. They are they are they are regaining their health as well. It's like uh, working on your image, working on your health. You know, really working on your uh, working on your body, working on your uh, who you are on the inside. I feel like. In six months, you are going to be feeling very attractive because you put in a lot of work to love yourself. And I think now somebody is seeing all the success that you have had. And now they want a peace. But I think it's too late that you have regained your power. You have regained yourself. And I think that you are going to reject somebody and continue along your merry little way. So yeah, I think in six months from now, you are going to be in a very good place where you are looking good, you are feeling good, you are vibrating on a high level. You are a force to be reckoned with, and you are on fire. You are on fire. What's that girl on fire? If you are the masculine watching this, I mean, I don't know what energy you are taking on, but I think that you, you know, need to get your shit together. I'm sorry, but there's a masculine here that is doing things that are illegal. And this per this person that is playing games, because this is playing games, it's mirroring this masculine. So we have a masculine that is playing games. And he may be playing games with two women. Okay, we got two women here. And he doesn't know what the hell one he wants. Meanwhile, we have this stable, solid individual who knows her value. And she's like, you don't know what you want? Fuck you. Take the other one. 
Because if you wanted me, you would have never done that. So anyway, we do have a masculine here that, that is going back and forth between two people. And he is going to, this is a horrendous loss. The Wheel of Fortune reversed, a horrendous loss. So we have a masculine, you know where the horrendous loss is? Is going to experience a horrendous loss because he involved another woman. Dumbass. Now the woman of value doesn't love him anymore. At all. So anyway, I think that uh, we have, we in six months from now, you are going to be looking good. Especially if you're the feminine, you are going to be looking good. You're going to be feeling good. You are going to be the pick, okay? You're going to be, the, everybody is going to be seeing your, your stability. They're going to be seeing your status. They're going to be seeing your worth. It's going to be clear. If you are the masculine, <laughs> it's a hopeless situation. No offense. Somebody is losing, you know, a love because they were playing games. So in six months from now, we have a feminine that is regaining her power. She is. And she is looking on top of her game. Good luck.